Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Totally Dads, where I share videos about my life and my love for crafting. And today we are going to make a birthday card for my mother-in-law. I'm gonna choose one of the ones on Cricut Design Space. Um, I just realized when I packed our gift up that I did not have a card. So we're just gonna go through and see what our options are. When I go on Design Space, um, they have so many different options for cards. I'm going to choose one that would be fairly quick for me to make um, so that I can get it done on my lunch break. And so um, normally I could go on to Design Space and create my own card, but I just will not have the time today to do that. And so I'm just going to do it um, with a couple layers of cardstock. So I think this one is going to be ideal for me. Um, I can make it in my own colors, as you can see, if you can see. <laughs> this one um, says happy birthday on it. It's pretty simple. This is the inside. I really like the design of the card, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, choose this. And it says it's pretty easy to make and that it's less than 30 minutes. If you can see that there level is easy and then it says 30 minutes so it shouldn't take us very long at all so what I'm going to do is um, purchase this design which would be the same price of a card if I bought it in the store anyway and then I can have this design forever for future birthday cards if I want to make them and um, I'm going to go ahead put in all of my information and then I'll be right back so as you can see, I've purchased uh, the design and it has um, everything already set up for me to cut out on my map, so it makes it fairly easy. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my machine on now. All right, I'm gonna pull out the different colors of cardstock that I'm gonna use for this project. I think I'm gonna make the front of the card gold. Ready. Set that to the side. Um, let's see. I'll make the actual card this pretty turquoise color. <clears throat> I found one with glitter, so I think I might use the glitter. I love glitter so much. And then we're gonna do one of these two pinks. I think I might go with this one. It's more of a birthday pink. I don't know if you guys can see. All right. So now we're gonna just go ahead and get started with the cut. I'm gonna pull out my mat, get it all set up, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I loaded my mat. And now I am going to um, make sure that all of my sides are down. I do need to clean my mat. I don't know where my other mats are, so we're just gonna work with what we have. And so I have up here on the screen, I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, I'm ready to make my first cut for the front of the cart, which will be the background to the happy birthday. I'm gonna go ahead and start to cut that out. I already changed my settings on uh, my Cricut. And so we're going to get it started. Okay, first part of the card already cut out. That was pretty quick. Slide this card stock back in the drawer for later use. There we go. <laughs> so now we're moving on to our happy birthday cut. We're going to use our glitter card stock. So we want to change the setting here to custom. I already have it in my favorites. So I changed it to glitter cardstock. And now we're going to put that in to get ready for cutting. <clears throat> Make sure your sides stay down. I'm kind of using my drawers for support because this mat is super long. But we'll do what we need to do. 
Okay, so now that part is done. Put this card stock away for another time. And then slowly, you can use your spatula for this as well if you like. Slowly pull off. Your happy birthday. And you want to make sure to keep the inside pieces because um, you want to use them for the inside and it's just going to cut it out <clears throat> so that when you put it on here it will make sense when you put your inside pieces and glue them so that the whole thing could come together if that makes any sense can you see that probably backwards to you but put that there and so now we're going to do our third cut and we're going to do our pretty blue eye I used this before but only a small piece so it'll be fine if you can see here the first thing it's going to do is score then it'll cut so we're going to put our score blade in first Put our holding tool in so that we could hold our score tool in place. So I had to go ahead and put some tape at the top because my mat is not sticky anymore, but I am getting the sun today. Uh, I don't have time to clean this mat right now, and it is what it is. So Let me see here. I'm gonna go ahead and start. So I took my card and placed it on the opposite side of the screen over here because I have more room over there because this is cut out. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue. And so the scoring is done. And um, now we are going to put our blade back in. about the tape right here you can just peel that right off it's not an issue and there we are and you can barely see it but the score is there and so we are going to fold this this way and it will be like the perfect size to place our birthday sign I will show you guys how I do that in just a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I have all three of my layers cut out, I'm going to attach all of them together um, using this crafter's tape. I like using it better than the um, glue gun because the glue gun sometimes makes everything look raised. So I'm just gonna take everything apart right now and um, attach the pink layer to the blue. And you just wanna make sure you have it lined up the exact way you want it before you lay it down. This way you don't have to fuss with it after. And then I am going to 
at the gold layer and then put in the uh, missing spaces after the fact. This one's kind of tricky because it's so thin, but just do the best you can. Be careful not to rip any of your pieces kind of hard because it's so thin but just be really careful and if you have any glue in between like your letters you can just take like your tweezers or another tool that looks the same and just kind of pull it out Just line it up the same way you did your top layer. Okay, so now I'm going to add my smaller pieces in between the letters. is the finished product of the card um, if you wanted to you could use the Cricut draw tool to write text inside the card but I am pressed for time today so I won't have time to do that so I'm just gonna write my own message inside the card but um, you are more than welcome to do so I could do a video on um, how to use the draw tool if you guys would like if you enjoyed this video please like this video Share this video and comment and let me know if there are any other videos you'd like to see in the future. As always, I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.